while the NBA big boys take center stage this weekend, there's a group of young ladies at TCU out to defend their national crown. Triggering the question, in this case, do men really stand a chance? The winningest team in TCU history with three national championships is gunning for yet another. It would be amazing. Um, that's obviously what we work towards all year long. In a world where some things are still thought to be male dominant, TCU is an all female squad. It's not technically seen as a girl sport, I would say, but it turns out girls are usually better at it. And there's a reason for that. Our hips are our center of gravity, and men, it's usually in their shoulders, which is obviously higher up, so you're going to be a little bit less stable up here. The model of stability is Coach Karen Menez in her 16th year, but she refuses to take credit. They're the ones who set the goals. They're the ones who, day in and day out, were here on the practice line developing their technical skills, their mental skills, and they're the ones who had to compete. Shooting past all the co-ed teams like the Army, Navy, Air Force, and Coast Guard, and anyone else who stands in their way. I'm the hootinest, tootinest, shootinest, bobtail, wildcat in the West. That's what they all say. I always just like to let my actions speak louder than my words. These young ladies continue to prove that in life, you simply have to set a goal, take aim, and go for it. It's inspiring to us knowing that, that we can inspire other young women. Ladies, you don't want to mess with. Man, I'm telling you, bro. <laughs> Rootness, uh, tootness, shootness. Uh, Not against them. I love it. Thank yeah. you, sir. Yeah. Taking us inside. We're back in just a moment.